Welcome to my slightly belated Wednesday ramblings. And even as I speak, I know it's going to be some time before I can actually upload the ramblings. Yesterday was a busy day and I had meetings all afternoon and early evening. And today I have a school gathering followed by a funeral. So it will be Thursday afternoon before these actually land on the social media platforms. However, the, re the message we're continuing is the message, we are God's work of art. And this weekend, we have our first reading from the book of Exodus, the story of the Decalogue, the 10 words of uh, God to Moses, and for us, the 10 commandments. But also we have in the gospel, Jesus challenging the people about how they aren't living according to the way the Decalogue the Ten Commandments were presented. They've made so many rules and so many uh, additional things that have been added over the years that the original spirit of the message has been lost. And I wonder whether in our living out our daily lives, it's sometimes the case as well. We might not break the law, but we don't actually live according to the spirit of the law. If we're going to be God's faithful servants, if we're going to be his daughters and sons, then living according to God's plan means more than just abiding by the rules. And so there are a series of things that we hear during this Lenten season that keep on challenging us to look at how we live and what that actually means. How are we serving one another and caring for them and contributing to the life of our community. Uh, a background theme to all of our message series this year is the notion of ministry and mission. Ministry is how do I give of my own gifts, my service to the community for the glory of God and for the good of others. Mission is how do I give to the community in a service of God and service of others. If it's just doing a job, then sadly, we're living not according to the spirit of God's law, but simply obedience to the rules. So there is a real challenge for us. How do we look at the Ten Commandments? How do we look at God's command to love God and love others? Is it just simply to obey the rules? If that's the answer, then sadly, we have a lot of thinking to do. I'd like to pray that this weekend, as we reflect on our wonderful life as God's work of art, we might recognize that God is calling us to so much more than just obedience. He's asking us to be the spirit of the Lord. God bless. And hopefully next week, I'll be able to have my Wednesday ramblings on the right day.